Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, yeah, I have a sticker on my forehead. I really don't care, I'm not wearing makeup, um, but I really wanted to film a video. Hello, future Amy here, like super future Amy, except for, if you're watching this right now, this is current Amy, technically. Um, but yeah, I filmed this video a long time ago. Um, life has just been very crazy, as I'm sure it has been for every single person on this planet, given the current circumstances. Um, so I'm just now putting up the video. So this is from the past, like September. Um, I hope you enjoy it regardless. I put a lot of work into it and I'm really excited to be back doing my videos again. I really missed it so much. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video even though it's in the past. Okay, bye, enjoy. Um, if you wanna know what the sticker said, that's the sticker. Um, an important sticker. So, so today I'm gonna be doing a Ikea haul for my new apartment. So apologies for this background, like, yeah, it's, <laughs> nothing's put away like like 100% because I ordered my furniture and it's on back order, so um, there's just like a lot of stuff still kind of sitting around waiting uh, until I get my furniture in a few weeks. But I'm really excited to show you these little goodies I got from Ikea. And I also have some exciting news to share. Guys, just a little side note. So I'm gonna put a timestamp right here so you can skip right to the Ikea haul. Right now I'm gonna talk about my new exciting news. So if you wanna watch that news, you can keep watching. So the news I have to share is I got a package in the mail and this is a certain package that I've worked very hard for. Okay, so I'm gonna open this right now. for um, certified personal trainer. Yay, I did it. It's pretty exciting. I bought the personal training certification November of last year, but then like my exam got rescheduled twice because of COVID. So then I finally was able to take my exam exactly a week ago today. So I passed it and I got an 89, so I did good. So now guys, I feel like more comfortable to post fitness videos on my channel because before I was like, Okay, like I have fitness knowledge from, you know, coaching gymnastics in the past and like I just really love fitness and health, but I think it's really important that you have the knowledge to back it up and now I can say I, that I do. I mean, I have a biology degree, Bachelor of Science as well, so I know a lot about the human body, but that's pretty cool. So, I'm a certified personal trainer. Yay! <laughs> And yeah, guys, I feel like I'm not super <laughs> enthused about it because like, I just wanted to get it done. Like, I knew I was gonna pass, cause like I have a biology degree, like a lot of it was review, but I don't know, I was just like, okay, let's just do it. I just wanna get it over with. So I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> I did it specifically, honestly, for YouTube, so that way I can confidently say that I have, um, I'm knowledgeable, you know, about fitness. I'm not just somebody who's like, oh, do this, and like it's actually bad for your health. Like, no, that's not me. It looks like I have a little certification card I can like put in my wallet, which is nice. This is a letter, so it's just saying the required passing score is 70. Oh, I got an 88, not an 89, whatever. <laughs> the NCSF, the National Council on Strength and Fitness, their personal trainer certification exam. So yeah, that's my exciting news to share, you guys. So I'm really excited to put some more fitness videos up, like whether it be yoga or, I'm gonna make my shirt do this because I can't 
think it looks cuter, even though I have a sticker on my forehead, but oh yeah, that's way cuter. Okay, anyway, I'm really excited to put more fitness videos on. I just wanted to like focus on this certification so that way I can bring something of even more value. And honestly, the certification really, really helped me learn more. Like, I mean, I, I knew a lot about fitness, but there was stuff in there that was like, oh wow, this all makes sense now. Like why I would work out a certain way and, and it didn't feel like I was targeting that area well enough. And anyway, so. That's my news. Okay, so guys, so let's get into this Ikea haul for my new apartment. I went to Ikea with basically the intentions of I needed to get a bed frame, and I was just tired of constantly looking online. Like, I'd rather just see the bed frame in person, choose it, and leave with it. So that was my intention, but unfortunately, like, I picked out the frame that I wanted. Um, it was not in stock, and that's just because a lot of things are not in stock because of COVID. Coronavirus! So, alas, I'm just gonna buy it online, so it's not a big deal. Oh, the other thing I really wanted was a plant. So I guess I'll start with the plant. It's my new friend. It's gonna be in my house. My new buddy. <laughs> They're living beings. They, they are great things. I had bought a palm tree from Home Depot and it was the greatest thing ever. I woke up the next morning and there was literally maggots on the floor. I was like, where are these coming from? Where are these coming from? I was like, this is a brand new apartment. There's no way. Like, I, I'm tired of dealing, like, I, I don't want bugs. I don't want bugs. So, I finally figured out it was for my new plant. So I was like, what changed? Oh, I brought a plant in. So I returned the plant, which was a bummer because I felt like it added a sense of hominess to my home. And now I finally have a new plant that brings hominess to the home. And this one's kind of, it's different. It's like a palm. Like the other one was palm leaves that were like this. Maybe I'll put a picture here. It was like that. Okay. Um, but this one, like, it looks like a pine, like, like a coconut tree kind of thing. Oh, guys, I sound so dumb right now. Like, please just ignore it. Okay. All right. So anyway, I got this plant and I'm really excited about it. Now it's going to be in my backdrops. It, it's great. Here we go. Right here, I got this bath mat um, in my for my bathroom. So when I step out of my shower, I just needed a bath mat. I just didn't have one. I really like this one. It's got, it's kind of like, you see how it's like ball, 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 ball. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so tired right now. Like I can't even use, make words. Bulbous, is that really a good word to choose? I don't know, but that's what it is. It's circular stuff. Okay. Okay, so I got that and guys my aesthetic for like my apartment is gonna be Just like a modern boho is kind of how I, I feel like I want I want the like earthiness, but I also want modern a Toilet cleaner thingy cuz priorities and it was like one thirty one dollar thirty cents So that's cool. So I got some a little bit of new Tupperware So my Tupperware that I have bought I bought one when I was like 20, that was five years ago. Um, so I really want new ones. And I decided I want to get glass and a bamboo lid kind because glass, like, I just noticed the flavor of the food keeps a lot better than my plastic. But the plastic, like, it absorbs some of different scents and stuff from different foods or like marinades. And then um, you wash it and it still has a weird, like, it smells like onions still kind of thing. But I feel like glass, you don't really have that problem. So, and I also wanted to get something that's better for the environment. Um, uh, plastic can never actually be recycled. It can only be downcycled. Um, so by using glass, glass can always be re remelted into new glass and recycled indefinitely. And bamboo is biodegradable and it's also, um, it doesn't take a long time to grow like trees. Only thing that is on here that wouldn't be the best for the environment is like the silicone around the edge of this, but that's significantly better than me getting plastic Tupperware. So I'm just really excited guys to get more like environmentally friendly things in my own home. So I got two of those. So this is the second one. And then this is super cool. Um, this is like a little freezer pack and it, it go, it's a lid at the same time. Um, oh God, that goes on top of this. So like if I'm going to work, I can, you know, take my leftovers and literally a freezer pack lid. So that's really nice. Of course it is a plastic, but it's really, you can't go like, I mean, respect to you if you can go like 100% plastic, 
but um, my thoughts are just trying to eliminate as much plastic as I can in my own life or just making it less plastic. You know, I still wanna get stuff like that, like the lid, freezer lid thing. Next thing I got, so I got these bamboo straws. So I'm really excited about these. So this is, I guess I should say the names of them. This is Okuvlig. Again, we like environmental, environmentally friendly things. Um, then I got six glass cups. I don't have any glasses yet, but now I do. So this is what they look like. Just nice, plain, simple. I really like the shape. Next thing, I did get some more, um, just like kind of dish hand drying cloths uh, for the kitchen. This is Sand, Sand Viva. I really like this one because it's bright and yellow. I hope you can see the color. I just feel like it's nice and lighthearted and just happy colors. Um, I got some measuring cups because I didn't have any. Um, do these have a name? No. I got a fake plant. I like real plants, but my bathroom doesn't get any natural light and I still wanted something that gives it like a nice green vibe that makes you feel good. This is the Bint G pot and this is the Fekja plant. I mean, if somebody who's Swedish is watching this, they'd probably be like dying at my pronunciation, so my apologies. So then I got a fruit bowl. This fruit bowl was so cheap. It was only like $1.99, which is so nice. I feel like you go to Target and you get this for like $10, which is ridiculous considering it's just a glass bowl. This is Trig. Maybe because it looks like a triangle, like trigonometry. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But I got this so I can put my fruits in it on the kitchen counter. This right here, this is my um, my plant, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry, my pot holder, my, let's just pretend I'm not able to like function right now. But I got this for my plant, this guy. I thought it was real terracotta, but it's actually not, so it's plastic. But that's probably why it was so cheap. So this one's, um, Ostlig, Ostlig. I got some of these um, bag clips. Um, these, I just saw them, they were super cheap and I, and I was like, oh, I remember that I bought a bag of tortilla chips and I needed to close it. So next I got, we got a whisk. Now I got some more coat hangers. I bought a bunch of wooden hangers when I was 20 and that's what all the hangers are that I have now. But it looks like they redesigned them. Honestly, I like this design way better. They're flat so they all just come together like this. Mine are curved. Um, and then they have this little niche in it right here. So that way, um, Nick. I guess you could say. So that way any strappy stuff can really hang on it, which is really good because a lot of my strappy clothes, like shirts and stuff would just fall off. And then I got three of these hangers for like pants or dresses or shorts, you know. I'm gonna be buying a lot of new clothes soon. Some measuring spoons, again, like teaspoons, tablespoons. I didn't have any of those. I got two bins for trash and recycling, and I'm gonna put them next to each other. And then um, they were out of stock, but it's this slidey thingy, and you can put them on there, and you, you can open your cupboard, and you just slide out your recycling and your trash, and then you can slide it back in, and then close that cupboard door. This is what the lid looks like, so of course I got two. And this is the haul bar, and then the slidey thing is also called haul bar as well. So I live in Michigan, which means we have some brutal winters, which means we have lots of salt. So I got this little um, shoe tray, boot tray thingy. That way you don't track any snow and salt through the house. Got a cutlery sorter for my cupboard and it's bamboo yet again. So then I also got this. Guys, look at this. You can put your loose leaf tea inside. Oh my gosh. So it's great for tea, which is wonderful because I have a lot of loose leaf teas. You could even use it for like probably different types of coffee and stuff. Got a vanity mirror, Katum. It doesn't have a plug and you have to use batteries. So I did buy some batteries. Alkalisk. Makes sense. 
alkaline alkalis. I'm really excited to put this in my bathroom for when I do my makeup. Bought, you know, a 99 cent Ikea bag. The drawer slidey thingy, the haul bar was out of stock, so I'm gonna get that online. Uh, in addition to the bed frame. Had to get some food and snacks from Ikea because it kind of gives me some like happy nostalgia. Visited Norway almost four years ago now when I was on exchange and I saw my friend Olaf because he's Norwegian and he showed me around. It was just a really great time and um, I got to try a lot of Norwegian foods. It was just a really great time. Um, so of course Norway is a Scandinavian country just like Sweden. Just a lot of like similar kind of foods. So one of them is lingonberries. So it says silt lingon. I had had this at Ikea first before going to Norway, but then when I was in Norway, I was like, oh my gosh, I've had this from Ikea. And then it's just like a really great memory. And I had it on these different like Norwegian waffles and uh, it was just a really great experience. So I got some lingonberries. Olaf, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I miss you. Okay. And then I got this because I thought it'd be fun to try. It's crisp bread, multigrain, naked broad fleckhorn. I also got some muesli. This is another European thing that just gives me nostalgia. It was all over Spain and I had it in Amsterdam, I had it in Norway, so muesli. I love it. My camera's dying, so I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> um, and then I got some sparkling juices. So here they are. This one is apple, mango, passion fruit, and this one is apple and lingonberry. Okay guys, so my battery's dying. I'm trying to hurry. Um, the last thing I'm gonna show you, two little things for my bed frame. So I bought the slats that lay down on the bed frame and the mid support beam. For the bed frame I'm gonna get, I can't remember the name, but I'm gonna put it here in a picture. But I'm so excited to get this bed frame. I feel like once I get the bed frame, it's gonna feel a little more like home, especially once I get the furniture too. Okay guys, so my battery's dying. Like I said, I'm gonna get going. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. And that's it for my video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. I can't wait to show you my apartment once all the furniture is in here and everything's decorated. Um, and stay tuned for the fitness videos because I'm a certified personal trainer. Yay! Okay, bye guys.